In this year, you have one short, one act play written by David Pinsky. This one act play is reprinted from ten plays translated by Isaac Goldberg, New York, uh, in 1920. It is now believed to be in public domain, so you can perform it without any royalties. There are eight characters: the comedian, the villain, the tragedian. The old man, the heroine, the ingenue, the old woman in this one act play. So in this, the opening scene is at one place uh, in one forest that is summer day afternoon. Some group of seven players is traveling from the town to another town so that they want to have another job or employment and they want to display their play at that place so that they can get some money out of that. With that uh, clothing, we can identify that these people are poor people, though they don't have money, they are happy. And uh, in that way, they are penniless, their uh, the need is to have some food and some good condition. So, what happens actually with the lives, lives of these actors? These actors, they work hard, but... Uh, whatever they earn that is taken by somebody else. So this is allegorical play, a play uh, where that symbolism is used and actually it symbolizes that how poor earns money by working hard and rich person that comes at the end and takes away all the money that is earned by these people. So in even with these players the same thing happened and we can see that these players are suffering due to such type of uh, uh, that uh, cheating or such type of poverty you, you can see. So in the beginning there that character of comedian enters into that place and he uh, saw that signboard and uh, he introduces all that directions to other people. Villain that comes after that comedian and he is actually exhausted due to the walking. They are coming from their previous town and villain uh, is now wanted to take some rest. Comedian tells that all other towns are very away from that place, means not near from the place where from um, is that uh, local, uh, their own town, previous town is near. So comedian suggested uh, very humorously to go back from where they came but uh, that villain was irritated with the, uh, that speaking of comedian and he wanted him to go, go away from the place. Comedian went away from the place, he goes back and he wanted to fetch that um, heroine. Uh, he is in love with that heroine. And villain, he tells that this comedian is very uh, that comic person or who can create bad, uh, humorous in such situation as old man also says the same. And in this way, you can find that the comedian and these uh, these other people they are they are in some trouble. And at that time, that old man is the who comes after that uh, tragedian. Now on stage, you have four people. All in all, the first one is comedian, the second tragedian, then the uh, that villain and old man. So uh, that. They decided to go uh, to the place nearby, which is 30 miles away from their, uh, that um, signboard. So all other places are um, is having more distance than this one. One is 42 miles away and one more is there, that is 45 miles away. Uh, that, that means they decided to have that nearest destination for themselves. So comedian is there uh, who is uh, they are in uh, doing some efforts to lighten this that spirit or moods of these unhappy people because these people are without a single penny with them they don't have food to even eat and uh, in that way these are in sorrowful situation but comedian has that happy mood always and he tries to keep that very uh, peaceful atmosphere among this group so villain is there he finally uh, told all other people that they need to stop here because that is not possible for them to approach to the next town uh, within the time limit they have no one wants means they they at least uh, need needed one more day uh, to 
go there so the day after tomorrow means two days actually they should have so that they can approach the destination they have decided means the nearest town that is 30 miles away from the scene so you can see here uh, that tragedian um, is finally decided um, sorry uh, told to that to stop it no reckoning the number of uh, our scenes is great and uh, tell of our misfortunes is even uh, greater holy father so tragedian shows his frustration uh, actually this frustration of all these actors uh, due to the poverty and due to the joblessness and uh, due to that life lucky life they felt uh, they were living that life is very empty without money so in this way all these other characters are in an happy mood tragedian old man comedian only is the character who is not uh, unhappy he shows his happiness and in that uh, situation also he wanted to spread the happiness so comedian brought his love uh, that is heroine in that uh, place and he puts the, that heroine uh, uh, on the ground actually he carried the heroine there and he told that he would be happy if uh, he could buy some automobile or some motor car for her so in this way that hope is there in the mind of comedian he is of positive attitude happy go lucky person and uh, very opposite personality when you compare comedian with this tragedian and uh, even with this uh, villain so here you have something uh, to watch you can see all that is whatever that is discussed by me in the form of movie here and uh, in this movie the, the here you have that comedian this one is a villain this is tragedian and old man also uh, will be there with that so today one way or the other neither is a town will reach before nightfall the nearest way for us is back where we came from where we were escorted with the most splendid catcalls that ever crowned our histrionic successes who will lend me a hand to wipe off my perspiration it has a nasty way of streaming into my mouth stand on your hat then and let your perspiration See, water uh, over this is the dollar money that turns the story at the end means when the money comes in life you find that people they even uh, struggle or they fight with each other another day it's an outrage how far these people move their towns away from us <laughs> we won't strike a town until the day after tomorrow Hurrah! that's luck for you there's yet a day after tomorrow for us and the women are still far behind us crawling they want the vote and they can't even walk. Well, we won't give them votes. That's settled. That one votes for women. <laughs> Seems the devil himself can't take you. Neither your feet nor your tongue ever get tired. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Sit down and shut up for a moment. Me? <laughs> I am going there. To the lady of my heart, I will meet her and fetch her hither in my arms. <laughs> Clown. How can he laugh and play his games even now? We have an ascent to our souls. Our, our supply of food is running low and our shoes are dilapidated. Stop it! Here, old man says that they don't have enough food and the supply of their food is... Uh, that finished and due to that they are in need of some food also just for a smell of see this is that entry of heroine and villain um, sorry comedian carries him in his arms Trinity, i will buy you an automobile <laughs> and in the meantime you may carry me off to now <gasps> the beast of burden hears <laughs> <laughs> and obeys. No one carried me. This is ingenue. Hell never was. Don't you like our night's lodgings? 
The bed is broad and wide, and certainly without vermin. Just me on the soft ground beneath you. Such a soft bed never you have slept in. And you shall have a... Comedian wants to make the scene happy. So let us stop here. In the next lecture, we will be continuing with the same.